Hadith Qudsi of Allah Azza wa Jal when he says, My slave, he turns to me knowing I am a very forgiving Lord. He has committed a sin and he turns to me, he says, Oh Allah, oh Allah, you are my Lord, you know and look at me, etc. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to the angels, I have forgiven him, for he knows he has a forgiving Lord. And this continues and continues. This man goes back and he commits the same sin again. And he returns to Allah and says, Oh Allah, I've done it again. Sincerely, Tawbata Nasuha. A sincere repentance. He cries again, even more. Oh Allah, I don't know what's wrong with me. And he slips and Allah says, look, I have forgiven him. The man goes back and he commits the same sin again and again and again and again and again. And he keeps coming back and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala smiles upon him. Says to the angels, look at my slave. He knows he is a sinner and he knows he has a Lord and he knows his Lord is forgiving. All my angels bear witness. I have forgiven him no matter what he does. So the only true failure, true destruction, true path to Jahannam is when you listen to shaitan, when he tells you, you are too despicable. You have committed too many sins, don't make dua. That's one. When you give in to that, you failed. The battle is not being perfect. The battle is keep coming back. Fafiru illallah, fafiru illallah. Return to Allah, flee back to Allah, flee back to Allah. That is the battle. The moment you quit going back to Allah and you give in to your sin is the day you've destroyed yourself. So long as you keep going back to Allah, you are going to Jannah inshallah. And there are many a hadith. There's another hadith of this person that's struggling all his life, sinning again and again. On the day of judgment, Allah Azawajal calls him forward. He is called forward and the scales are brought in front of him. And his good deed is very little. It's been destroyed by all the sins he kept committing. But he kept coming back to Allah. And then Allah brought his sin and put it in the scale. And he was ashamed. And another sin, and another sin, and another sin, and another sin, and another sin. This continued for so long, this man thought, surely I am going to hell, I'm destroyed. And there are two such narrations. One says, so Allah took his shahada, his true belief in La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, put it in the good deed scale, and it outweighed all of those sins. Another narration says that he cried to his Lord and said, Oh Allah, look at me. Look, I am destroyed. Is there any mercy for me today? And Allah says, it's by my mercy you are here. And I covered these sins in the dunya. And I covered them today on the day of judgment. And I have forgiven them. Enter my paradise. The day you give in to shaitan and your despair is the day you've destroyed yourself. Never despair. Allah is oft forgiving and will forgive you.